Hello everyone and welcome in this video where today we are going to learn some of the basics of MATLAB and today we are going to learn how to generate normal sinusoidal and district sinusoidal signals using MATLAB. So make sure to watch this video till the end and while watching the video if any doubt arises in your mind, if any question arises in your mind then feel free to ask me in the comment section and I will surely reply to you. So MATLAB or Matrix Laboratory is a very important software or tool for electrical engineers or for electrical engineering students. It has a wide range of applications. We can simulate uh, circuits in MATLAB. We can uh, do mathematics and computation, okay, numerical and statistical analysis and a lot of things that we can do in MATLAB. So if you are an electrical engineering student or if you are an engineering student then it is important for you to have a good knowledge of MATLAB. So let's get straight to the MATLAB software where I will write the codes to generate normal sinusoidal and discrete sinusoidal signals and then we will see how the output is generated. So this is the interface of the MATLAB software which we will use to generate normal sinusoidal signal and discrete sinusoidal signal. If you don't have the MATLAB software then you don't need to worry a lot you can easily download it from the internet for free i will also provide the download link of the matlab software in the description box below so from here we need to go to the file then sorry file then new and then m file and this is the place where we we need to write the matlab code to generate the sinusoidal signals so we know that sinusoidal signal the function of the sinusoidal signal is y equals to sine omega t right so for that we need a uh, frequency okay so let us assume that frequency is 1 hertz you can take the value of frequency as your wish uh, as per your wish you can take 1 2 10 50 i mean any value here next up we need to mention the value of omega right because y is equals to sine omega t so we are taking omega means w you, you can take any variable actually w is similar to omega that's why i'm mm -hmm. taking uh, w so we know w is equals to 2 into uh, pi into f right mm -hmm. so we have placed w equals to 2 pi f next up is we need to mention time right because we are plotting the amplitude we know y equals to sine omega t is the amplitude of the sine wave and we need to plot the amplitude with respect to time that's why we need to mention the time so let us assume time equals t equals to 0 0 is to uh, 0 0.01 is to 10 now what does this line mean 0 is to 0 0.01 is to 10 this is the interval of time that uh, the starting time is zero okay now the time uh, the uh, the graph has started from zero second it will go till 10 seconds and the time gap is 0 0.01 seconds okay uh, next up is uh, our main function which is y is equals to sine w into t so this is our main function okay so now we have th got the amplitude of the sine wave mm -hmm. which is uh, y here and we have got uh, the time which is t so we need to plot these two things in order to generate the sinusoidal signal so we need to write plot then uh, first packet open t comma y okay now here i have written t comma y because the time will be on the x axis and the amplitude will be on the y axis that's why i have written t comma y that is simple next uh, we need we can place uh, some labels uh, some name to the to the x axis and y axis for example x axis is uh, suppose uh, time so i am writing the x axis to be the time and then y axis is uh, amplitude so let's write y axis to be the amplitude uh, but it is not necessary even if you don't uh, provide this labels the program will run uh, properly but okay you can provide it uh, but it is not necessary here uh, so next up we can provide a title to the graph let's provide a good title here uh, the title can be sine wave okay i'm writing it in short you can write the full name normal sinusoidal signal so uh, this is the title oh. and uh, the x axis label y axis label we have done it all last line is grid 
grid means that square boxes you know when you used to plot the graph uh, in the graph paper there the square boxes are present there mm -hmm. which help us in plotting the graph so basically that square boxes are grid we are putting the grid on because we want to observe it properly that uh, how the graph has been plot what are the values corresponding values so that's why we have placed the grid on so this is uh, the program to generate the normal sinusoidal signal now here i have used uh, the semicolon in each and every line of the program but semicolon is not that important here uh, in c programming i mean if you have done c programming then you know that uh, in case of c programming semicolon uh, is very important because if you don't provide that semicolon then the program will not run but it is not true for matlab even if you don't provide the uh, semicolon here the program will run so i have provided it uh, it is your wish you can provide or you can also not provide now i am pressing control s to save the program while saving the program it is uh, very important that how do you rename the file uh, it is very important not to give any space you can rename as you wish i am naming it sign matlab sign wave and another thing don't give any number in the uh, file name if you give any number or if you provide any space then it will not run so it is very important to rename it properly uh, next is we can run uh, from here also okay this is the run option and we can also use f5 to run this program so let's run it from here and as you can see here we have got the normal sinusoidal wave this is quite nice okay next is uh, what to do if you want to generate disparate sinusoidal wave now first of all you need to know what is a disparate signal okay disparate signal means uh, the signal which you use in digital circuits now the continuous signal uh, has a continuous value as we have seen in the graph also that there is a continuous value for every time frame for uh, there is a corresponding value there is a corresponding amplitude but for discrete signals uh, the value is not continuous it is at a particular time it has a certain value then it is zero then at a particular time it has a certain peak value then it is uh, zero so this is how a discrete signal works whereas continuous signal has a continuous value it has a value at every time stamp and discrete signals have a, a value at a only particular time stamp okay so to uh, generate discrete signal we just need to change one thing we need to change uh, plot we need to replace actually plot with stem so when we replace plot with stem then we can mm. generate the discrete signal let's save this i am i pressed control s to save then let's run it and as you can see we have got graph here okay so this is the discrete sinusoidal signal that we have generated earlier we had generated the normal sinusoidal signal so these are the two signals that uh, we have generated in this video uh, there are many more signals many more things which you can do using matlab uh, you can uh, you know try it yourself if you have understand it then i am sure you will able to generate many more signals and if you have any doubt then feel free to ask me in the comment section i will also provide you some codes uh, okay there will be a link in the provided in the description that will be the link of a blog which i have written and in that blog there are many matlab codes for different signals you can uh, uh, read uh, read through those uh, codes and uh, you can try it yourself also and that i think that codes will be very much helpful for you so uh, go through those codes once and uh, yeah that's it for today thank you everyone for watching if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button and uh, if you're new to this channel then hit the subscribe button because that will be very much supportive for me and once again thank you for watching this video till the end